My name is Mohamed Kapia. I'm the Agency Director for ECRI. ECRI is the ECOWAS Center for Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency based in Praia Cabo Verde. Uh, we are here in Dakar to organize a workshop on bioenergy, that bioenergy energy towards energy access in the ECOWAS region. And at, by the end of this workshop, we have three key documents adapted. One will be the ECOWAS bioenergy policy, which ECRI has worked on in collaboration with UNDP. The second will be forest resource assessment for the ECOWAS region. And the third will be the Waka Action Plan. The Waka is the West of Clean Cooking Alliance Action Plan. It's an action plan or a roadmap towards the attainment of clean cooking solutions to the entire population of West Africa. The last two documents, that the work action plan and the forest resource assessment were done with the support of the Australian Ministry of Environment and Water Management. Now, uh, with UNDP, our partnership goes far way back. Since 2005, We've been working with UNDP to develop what we call the ECOWAS White Paper on Access to Energy Services. This white paper identified the energy targets that we needed to meet for both urban and rural communities, electricity and other renewable sources, energy efficiency, set all the targets that we needed to meet in order to attain the target of the Millennium Development Goals. And since 2016, at 2006, when this document was, was adopted by the ECOWAS Heads of States, we worked with the UNDP in its implementation to date. Sure, we, or most of West African countries, have not attained the target of the Millennium Development Goals, simply because the requisite for the attainment of these targets, as we talked together with UNDP, is that we needed energy access to enable the population or the countries attain these targets. And as we did not get the required support through energy access, as energy was not an NDG by then and did not attain the required attention, most of the other Millennium Development Goals were not achieved. Now we are all happy that the UN General Assembly has just adopted energy as an MDG, that's MDG 7. And this has paved the way for more attention on energy as a key driver to our development, particularly in the developing countries, including the ECOWAS countries. With UNDP, I think, so far we're working very well now in the development of action agenda for the respective ECOWAS member countries. Mm. And we are almost at the end of the process. And we also work on the development of investment prospectuses for these countries. These will pave the way for the implementation of actions toward the attainment of the target of sustainable energy for all, which is to ensure that by 2030, everybody has access to clean, sustainable energy sources. Mm in the uh, world globally, two, that they've increased or doubled the rate of, uh, what we call it, renewable energy in the system, and three, the rate of increase in energy efficiency is also doubled. So these three objectives, we are working with UNDP to ensure that they are met first by member states defining their national action agendas. That will ensure that they meet these set targets by us and when the time uh, arrives. And secondly, we identify a roadmap, or identify projects mm. and their cost elements that need to be implemented at country level towards the attainment of this set objective. Mm. So I believe our collaboration with UNDP is not ended. It's still a continuing process and we'll continue to improve our relationship as we go along. Thank you very much.